Ford is trying to repeat history. It says it's gearing up for a second model T moment. A moment that will redefine history. Not just for Ford, but for the entire automotive industry. Okay, the American automotive industry for now, baby steps. So how's Ford going to pull this off? By rolling out not one, but two big moves. First, a universal electric vehicle platform. Second, a new production system designed just for it. And here's the patriotic cherry on top. Both are designed and developed entirely in the USA. Somewhere, Trump is probably fist pumping. I'm especially pleased to announce that the first vehicle of this new platform will be a mid-sized truck built right here at Louisville and will reach customers in 2027. That was Ford's MD and CEO Jim Farley talking about the new platform. So let's break this down. Farley also said to be the first automaker in the United States to make prismatic LFP battery cells here in the US and not importing them from overseas. Which basically means less dependence on imports. A big deal given how high tariffs are in the US. The platform will use LFP batteries, meaning no cobalt, no nickel and no less max out your budget pricing. Plus, these batteries sit low in the floor, which is great for handling and not so great for speed breakers in India. The platform is modular. Think Lego, but for grown-ups who want SUVs, vans, crossovers and all of the above. Ford wants variety to be a selling point, just like the Model T did back in the day. Performance-wise, Ford's feeling confident a low centre of gravity, solid chassis and instant torque. They're even claiming 0 to 100 km per hour times quicker than the Mustang EcoBoost. Bold. As for juicy details like truck specs, price, battery, size, range and charging, Ford's keeping that T for later. But here's the real headline. Ford says this scalable platform is its future, its Model T moment reimagined for the EV era. And just like the Model T changed car making with its assembly line, this new universal EV platform comes with an assembly tree. What's an assembly tree? Imagine three sub-assembly lines working at the same time, then snapping together at the end, like a high-tech jigsaw puzzle. Different unicastings mean Ford can assemble the front and rear separately, then bolt them to the main chassis. All parts travel together in kits, tools, fasteners, scanners, the works. Ford claims this setup will cut assembly time by 40% and they'll use some of that time saved to make cars cheaper and better. They've already invested $2 billion in the Louisville assembly plant to build a new mid-size electric pickup truck, possibly an electric Ranger. Now, here's where it gets interesting for us in India. Ford hasn't sold off its Chennai plant. In fact, they said they will resume, but only for export markets. So could the universal EV platform be made in Chennai for markets like Southeast Asia, Australia and Africa, where Ford pickups are still hot sellers? We've asked Ford, but so far, it's all radio silence. So here's the big question. Should Ford make its India comeback with this pickup truck? Or go with a small SUV on this platform? Drop your verdict in the comments.